All right, what's going on, guys? So this is literally, uh, I wasn't planning to do any reporting <clears throat> on this particular day. This was the day, um, literally right before Emma was supposed to come. I think this was, I guess, was on a Friday. Um, before Emma was supposed to come uh, over the weekend here in Florida, uh, Tampa. <clears throat> so I was kind of already done, and I just kind of ran through the last bit. So I started off with the, uh, you know, the fly bench. I went ahead and did the incline dumbbells next, and then I finished with uh, oh, so some push-ups, which is what I had to do lit, uh, left. <clears throat> so I kind of started doing these, and um, it's just a pretty much, I was like, you know what, let me just, it's not going to be able to come over the weekend, because they posted a sign, you know, LA Fitness Corporate Gym, so... They can't really uh, let you come in and it's something like uh, you have a key to and you sign a pass for like a 24 hour. Yeah. So what uh, kind of not so much sucked, but I've been trying to split arms on their own day. So me not being able to do that, I kind of threw these in. So uh, I'll do a little bit of triceps on the days that I do chest, uh, even though I try to get them you know, to grow. And a lot of people think that you need a heavy weight. To grow your arms, and that's correct, I mean, your arms or your biceps, triceps, and shoulders, delt, are a small muscle, even with your traps, small muscle. So you don't really need heavy weight. Um, traps is, might be the only exception. Um, but as far as biceps, triceps go, and forearms, you want, you know, moderate weight. You want to do a lot of reps with those, a lot of sets, a lot of reps. So with these, and that being said, I do. Uh, I was doing pull-ups, just kind of not really doing a uh, full contraction, but I would kind of go halfway with these and just get a stretch in my chest, um, your lats, and then I would go on to superset. And once I'm done with uh, chest, I kind of do pretty much doing delts on the same day as I do chest because it's already hitting it. So you're already hitting front delts a lot of the time when you do bench, things like that. So now I just kind of do a rear delt exercise. I'll start off with that and then I'll also throw in a side lateral. Um, so it's pretty much what I do now. So I'll do uh, some ran through flat bench. Um, <clears throat> I'll go to incline. I will do a flat push up, uh, just a regular push up, I mean. Uh, with a band. If you have a resistance band, if not, then you just focus on the squeeze as much as you can. And um, and then I did a static hold. I was supposed to do a static hold. I think I actually went back and did that. Um, so then moving on to shoulders, of course, you do, you just bend over and you uh, focusing more on the rear delt. Not a lot of weight here. I had, I think, 15 or probably 20s I did. 15 or 20. And um, swinging it back, controlling the contraction, so controlling the weight, squeezing for the contraction, I mean. Um, so you bend over slightly. I do have another shot of these. Um, I'm not sure if I have it in this video, but uh, just trying to hit all three sets. So you go from rear to side, and then you'll see me do a um, kind of cap and finish with these, I'll go and do overhead presses. So these right now, just as much blood as I can get, I will do sort of like a swing. Um, it's a controlled swing as well, it's not what much or most people see. Um, most people just see, you know, oh I have weight, I'm trying to get the weight up, so I'm going to swing. That's not what the case is. You just kind of let them hang off your chops, off your sides, and you just swing. And uh, you feel a good pump there. Okay, so as you can see now, we're doing uh, overhead presses to kind of um, finish the cap on the delts. And um, this is hurting a lot here, uh, only because your, you know, your chest is pumped, um, your delts are pretty much pumped. Um, you're just starting, you know, I mean, you're already hitting them, um, not too much when you hit, uh, chest, but hitting delts after you do chest, it starts to pop out a lot. 
So here actually I kind of cropped some of the video off to make it shorter. Here you can see from the side from what I was talking about, um, hopefully. You scoot up to the, the front of the seat and you just grab a decent amount of weight, just let it hang and you just kind of push out. And uh, you get a really good squeeze there, really good traction. You feel it a lot on your a little bit tiny part on your front delt, but mainly on the side part of your delt and the rear part of your delt. But this mainly hits the, the side and fits this in a lot here. Um, and it hurts really bad. Okay, so instead of doing the static hold and a static hold, you can pretty much do anything. Um, so static hold, you can picture your yourself uh, I usually do these it's supposed to do these in the program that I'm following you now and it has you do flat dumbbell static hold so static hold from and I keep repeating this sorry about that static hold is pretty much just doing a push-up and holding yourself halfway throughout the movement so you'll come halfway up to the movement you hold yourself there for as long as you can for you you're, if you're benching you know you come down halfway mid contraction to your chest and it's, it's kind of like a negative but you're not technically moving the weight down and you're just holding it there and it gets a really really good burn nice deep burn um, but it's very painful you want to go for as long as you can if a minute or not more um, so instead of doing those I opted to do decline press and uh, this particular machine I can't do movement at the same time so I just do them supinated um, one side you know right side first left side and then I will hold it for as long as I can on this last side <laughs> wanted to kind of get some posing out the way I, I kind of rushed this day to kind of get everything out the way uh, get in and out of the gym before I had to go to work um, so I was lagging a bit um, I felt all right during that and then I just figured out know, why not I'm not really gonna be doing any cardio right now um, I was like, oh, why not get some posing down do some fun cardio that way fun ish cardio anyway um, it's really a lot harder than a lot of people see or know to control your breathing, control your quote unquote gut if you have a gut. Um, it's really hard to actually do that. So I just kind of thought I'd pose for a bit. Um, I'm actually need to work on my posing if I decide to do the show in about um, three months have to do the show. So if I decide to, then I can of course. So I was kind of having fun posing for a bit, doing a little bit of poses here and there.